This podcast was originally live streamed on the Non Sequitur Show on YouTube. New episodes air weekdays, Monday through Friday, at 8 p.m. Eastern at youtube.com slash non sequitur show. Make sure you never miss a live stream by visiting www.nonsexshow.com slash schedule. For the latest news, polls and updates throughout the day, follow us on Twitter at nonsexshow or facebook.com slash nonsexshow. That's N O N S E Q Show. If you'd like to get exclusive content, buy weekly private hangouts with Kyle and Steve, backstage access to chat with guests after shows hosted on your channel, and much more, become a Patreon Saint of Non Sequitur. It ensures we continue to improve our show and brings you into the process at the same time. Visit patreon.com slash non sequitur today while the limited spots are still available. The following podcast is intended for those who believe bold ideas are righteous, unique perspectives are gospel, and strong opinions are sacred. This is Non Sequitur. Never follow. And now, here are your hosts, Kyle Curtis and Steve McRae. Waiting always is the hardest part. And there we go. All right. Let's do it. Well, it would appear that we are down someone who specializes in intelligent design. Um, Chris, as the the guy that was supposed to assist Mr. ID through this uh, discussion tonight, what do you have to say for him? Uh, that this was com- unfortunately predictable, given the last debate that he skived off. That's a little dweeb. <laughs> you had one job, but... Chris. One. one. Hey, hey, I, I tried. I tried. I what sent him. A, I sent him at least six saying? different messages, and he didn't respond to any. Well, I, I did too, and he actually so. responded to mine, and everything was hunky dory. So this is why I'm just a little disconcerted that he's not here at the moment because everything was fine as of the day before yesterday. Um, uh, t- I knew this was going to be an off day today because. Anytime you get a, a Hangouts message from Steve that uh, that opens up like this, and I quote, So I've got a guy that's going to email you that drinks his own aged urine. And when you don't even blink at that, you know that you've been doing this far too long. But um, that's didn't how... Didn't phase, didn't phase Kyle, at least. That's, that's how Steve said good morning. Um, morning, Kyle. Got a guy that drinks aged urine. Which, which, by the way, I was thinking, Steve... You know how we were talking about the Pokemon Go for for Christians, the the Christian version. You remember mm-hmm. the story? Um, I was I was thinking that uh, there's never going to be a better player than uh, the one that used to be. Like back in the day, there's al- already a a player that will never be defeated. He just won't be. You know that slogan? Player? You got to catch them all. Noah's like I already did twice. See, I I don't play Pokemon Go. Oh, oh. that was a good that was a good joke. Um, all right, let me go through a couple of uh, what we've got coming up real quick, and then we will talk about what we're going to do tonight uh, on the f- on Sunday the fourth. We're going to have a subscriber and uh, Shinobi three 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 three. It's a Flat Earth Sunday stream that's going to be at four p.m. Eastern on uh, Monday. Sargon of Akkad will be. Debating Adam Kokish on capitalism and the, uh, well, we'll see if the libertarians have, last time, not so much. But we'll see if things have changed since 
the two months that's passed since you last came here. Uh, next Thursday on the 8th, everybody's, uh, everybody's request is coming true. Isaac Arthur will be with us, and we're going to be talking about the ability to upload your mind to a server. And essentially, you never die. It's a, it's a strange, fascinating concept, so join us for that. Um, Steve, uh, Steve, let me ask you this. If I told you, or if I said the words, Robert Tilton, what comes to mind? Uh, uh, evangel evangelical pastor that was head of the Trinity Broadcasting Network that was indicted for fraud way back in the uh, early 90s, was it? Yeah, well, that that is true. But there was a there was a gentleman that was that orchestrated his takedown. Do you remember who that who that was? I, oh yeah, I, what is um, I don't remember his name. Uh, Oli Anthony. And, and so he, and he was the one that actually investigated the the fraud that uh, Tilton. I and I thought Tilton was dead. Are you sure he's not dead? I'm positive he's not dead. He he was on you YouTube know, I just last week. Watched the video with him not too long ago. Yeah, was, are you sure that was him? That wasn't cell phone or something. I'm positive. I'm positive. Okay, he's not dead. But anyway, Ole Anthony is the guy that his organization took him down. He's responsible for taking, uh, you know, going after people like uh, Benny Hinn and all the people at, at the Trinity Broadcasting Network. Well, I spoke with Ole yesterday, and he's going to come on and walk the investigation with uh, Robert Tilton and what it's, you know, what goes into investigating a multi-million dollar uh, program. So that's going to be really cool. And um, yeah, that's, I believe that's all we're going to jump to. So uh, obviously Mr. Intelligence isn't here, and you'll forgive me if I'm looking away, guys. I'm also producing tonight, so I'm trying to follow along with with that. But uh, we, we waited on Mr. Intelligent Design until 8 o'clock. He no-showed. We reached out to him. Chris showed up. Chris was going to assist him in trying to translate what he was, the point he was trying to get across. But obviously, Mr. Intelligent Design is not here. So we put out the word for people who might want to come and talk about the, uh, the shape of our planet. And um, Rice Ray answered that call. And... Uh, Oh, cool. And uh, so, and Stiggy is somewhere in the call, but we can't hear him. I'm hoping to be able to fix that. Um, and if this works, I have something I would like to play for you guys. I'm just trying to figure out how to do it. So, uh, uh, Reds, uh, do you want to go ahead and introduce yourself and your channel, and then we'll go to Rice Ray, and then Chris, and you guys can tell people who you are. And introduce yourselves, and then we'll get started. Uh, sure. So I just say who I am again, as if the people don't know that already. Right. Just pretend. Yeah. Okay, fine. Whatever. Uh, so, hi, my name is Red. Uh, I'm from the YouTube channel Red's Rhetoric. Uh, I'm also known as that ugly fuck from Florida. Uh, yeah, I am uh, a rocket launch filmer, I guess, and I'm known for making very shocking statements like calling the flat earth theory a crock of shit and that those who believe in it are intellectually dishonest or not very bright. Uh, you can uh, subscribe to my channel if you like things like rocket launches and drone videos and observations that show the flat earth to be complete bullshit. Um, link description, I guess. Wink, wink, hint, hint, click, click. Cool. All right, uh, Rice Ray. Yes. So um, my name is. Uh, I had a YouTube channel. It was shut down. Uh, it was called Evolution Is a Lie. I'm a younger creationist, flat earther, Bible believer. I believe the Bible, every mythology, empty the flat earth with a solid dome-like sky on top of it. So that's it. Okay, and uh, Chris. Hi, I'm Chris. Uh, I'm one of uh, the hosts of the Biblical History Skeptics YouTube channel, and I am a 21-year-old student and a big Bible nerd. You are a big Bible nerd. Look at all those Bibles. It's, it's funny because <laughs> that's the face that every one of us are going to have before the end of the night. I guarantee it. But um, 
the first night that I met you, I actually thought you were a, a Christian. That's how big of a Bible nerd you were. I remember starting to argue with you, and Steve's like, no, 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 he's atheist. <laughs> yeah, well, agnostic by 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 the philosophical definition. Oh, no, not another one. He's one of, he's one of my people. He's one of Muted. my boys. Okay, so let's see if I can get this. Um, we had a, a one of our favorite people, Jamie, put together. Uh, he was inspired last week by the last appearance Reds had when he came on the show. And uh, hopefully this will work. Keep your fingers crossed. Like I said, I'm still trying to figure out how all of this stuff works. So let's see what happens when I do this. Remember when we froze your semen? You said if it didn't look like you were coming back, we should try to make you a son so that a part of you could live forever. Oh, sure. Well, after a couple of years, we got a little impatient. <laughs> Dr. Evil, I want you to meet your son. My son? Yeah. Scott! Oh. Hello, Scott. Yeah, hi, um, um, have you seen a video by Martin D. Meta uh, Doubles? Um, I'm your father, Dr. Evil. He also um, does the same observations on Lake Pontchartrain, and what he comes back with is no curves to, to be seen. And science is testable and repeatable, so... How was your day? I'm not going to... Um, ver verified that this is a claim of curvature into I've seen um, you know, somebody else do it with somebody from both sides, you know what I mean? Fascinating. What are your plans for this evening? Okay, well, we'll see when that time comes, buddy. And not only that, Got so it. what you're saying is the Earth's um, movement has no relation to the, helio the heliocentric model? Yes or no? And that's how you like to live your life, is it? Besides um, observations in the sky, what actual measurable proof do you have that the Earth is round down here? Scott? You just don't get it, do you? You don't. Not, 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 not up there. Then. Not, up, not, not, not down here in reality. Knock, knock. Um, um, okay. Let me tell you a little story about a man named. Is there a reason why? Even before you start, that was a preemptive. Sh just know I have a whole bag of sh with your name on it. Awesome. Thank you. I, and guys, there, there wasn't a video for that. I just, like I said, I'm, I'm still trying to figure this system out as we go. So I'm sure there's a way for me to play that over top of without us having to go to black screen. But that's not what happened. So we're going to just go with it, okay? Uh, hold on, Chris. Hey, Kyle? Yes. Warn me next time I would have gulped down the rest of my gin. <laughs> <laughs> You're... um. I think you're – does he seem a little out of sync, Steve, or are you hearing anything? Oh, everything's out of sync right now. But uh, Well, you might want to you want, you want to turn the call down the, to what we were looking at it from the last higher um, bandwidth because, I mean, you're, we're, we're high resolution in here, and I think that's kind of killing the sync. Okay. Kind of that. All right. How do I do that? Do you know? I don't use VMX. I, I'm going to have to download it in. Practice mm. with it. Well, we'll go with it. Well, while guess, the, these guys are going to be talking. They're not on cam, so there's not really have any sync issues with them. While they're talking, I'll see if I can't figure that out. But um, let's okay. uh, let's go over to Rice and have him present uh, why you think the Earth is flat, and then um, we'll let these guys respond in turn. So whenever you're ready, Rice, uh, your reasoning for thinking that the Earth is flat. Okay, well, uh, I was a Christian for a long time, believing the earth was round, and I had no problem with it, um, until one point I was confronted with the fact that the Bible teaches a flat earth. So I went and looked, and yeah, I believe it does teach a flat earth. So as a Bible-believing Christian, if I want to, to not be a non-sequitur by default... <laughs> I have to follow my logic and say, okay, I believe it, right? That's my faith. Now, I, I believe that Red and all of you guys have heard all of the the, the argument of the flat earther, so I'm not going to spend much 